Okay, I'm all base coated. I, I changed the outline because I couldn't fit it on here, but I think it looks good enough. Um, we're going to do the highlighting. It's so fun. All right, so I'm going to show you, and again, Erica has the videos on her Facebook Live, so this is, you don't even need to see me do this. You could just go watch her. I'm going to do these yellow petals of the sunflower, and all I have to do is use the base color which I'm using yellow ochre. So I'm going to dress my brush. I did not go into water. Dress, dress my brush. Oh boy. And then I'm just going to like kind of wipe it off so it's a dirty brush now. Then I'm just going to go into, um, let's see if it, what it says. Yellow Naples, Naples yellow hue. Uh, that is, I'm using old parchment. So I'm just going to take a little bit of that on my brush and just kind of mix it with the um, the yellow that was on my brush. She probably doesn't even want a brush mix right now because it kind of says use yellow Naples hue on a round brush. So I don't even need to. Um... Yeah, anywho. So I didn't even base coat the tips very dark because I knew that I was going to go in with this to get the. Um... So see, look, you can see it on here. It just brightens the tips. So I'm just taking the tip of my brush and put the color down and just kind of pull it away from the tip. Oops. If you get it on the brown, which I actually used um, plum, you can use a uh, that color and kind of clean everything up at the end. So there's really, you can't make a mistake. I'm going to go to this one. Just the tip is the main area, and then you just kind of pick up the brush and pull it down the petal, and then it just makes this like dry brushy effect to it, right? So it's that's why she calls it damp dry brushing, because the paint, I haven't really wiped the paint off the brush, but I it's not it's not slick and it's kind of skipping across the uh, I'm just going to use my hand you see how I can't even talk when I do it because it it sends me right into meditation so honestly you guys it's worth a try so normally what would I be doing class <laughs> I'd be highlighting and shading with floats by floating. And I do like that look a lot. But this is just different. And I mean, I don't know if I'm really, like I like to say, proficient at it. Like maybe I need to pull it down further or not. Let's see her picture. And this is from my printer. So see, it just it's just put on there. I might be doing it a little um, too far down, but I'll show you how I'll fix it even. So let me just get the tips. And class, what do you think I'm going to do to kind of fix it if I feel like I went too far? So I'm like halfway, and if I want it to just be the tips, what do you think I'm going to do? I'm going to take some of that base color on a clean brush and just start at the base. So like this one. If I feel like it went too far down, which I don't really. I kind of like it. So I'm just dry brushing it now in the opposite direction. I think it looks so good. So I'm going to do this to all the yellow ochre parts of this piece. This is a number one round, I believe, and it happens to be a Jasonia uh, brush as well, which is the, you know, I think that's what um, Erica uses as well. All right, so I'm just going to go right into that old parchment. It's kind of like the color of dirty paper, I guess, parchment paper. 
and I just have that on my brush and I'm going to pull it on the tips of this tulip petal I don't know I don't know if I'm getting the right uh, I think I have to pick up my brush a little more I think I'm pushing too hard that one looks cool I have to do this whole um, area here up oh, these little petals here I always use a q-tip to clean up my because uh, if it's you know if you do it quickly you can just get it right off it's water-based paint so It makes me happy where else okay this whole area here so see how I did it on it looks messy initially but when you look at the whole picture it just comes together so don't this is the whole thing about um, don't kind of focus on the one thing it's the whole thing as a whole so I'm gonna go gently I'm gonna try to go along the edge keep the shape I don't want to lose the shape but that being said that's what she uses the colored pencils for to clean everything up so we're gonna fix all our rough edges with the pencil in a little bit before I do, oh no, no, I can do it. Okay, so I think that might be good. I like to refer to her picture to see how far she goes down. So she kind of just pulls it around both sides and not really um, too much in the middle here because there's going to be a stem, I think. So I'm just pulling it down. My, I'm not thrilled about the edge. It just looks not clean. So, anywho, um, this is it. This is the whole thing. This is all you do um, until we get to the pencils. Uh, see, I'm using, I think I have too much paint on my brush. It really is in the lightness of your touch that you just touch the the oh yeah I like that I think that looks good so I think that's all of the uh, yellow on the on here there's quite a lot um, on the butterfly and it's the same thing I just I'm gonna do the edge of this um, part of the butterfly's wing and I'm going to just make sure I get the edge. And you just kind of barely touch and make it look scratchy. That's all I'm going to do. I mean, it looks really bright, but look, once you put the bling on there, and you um, uh, varnish it, you know, like, and again, if I feel like it's too bright, I can come back with some of the base color. See, to me, I just want to pull it down a little further. I think it might be a little too bright. And for this one, I didn't read the directions. Maybe she wanted me to do a brush mix. So let me just double check and then I'll be able to explain to you why it's so bright. This is the butterfly and it says Naples yellow hue. Um, no, it's just straight Naples yellow hue. So I was right. So again, I'm just kind of going right up to the edge 
and using my brush to kind of pull so anyway this is why I want you guys to go over check out Erica's um, Facebook lives while you can because I think she said she's keeping them up there um, till the end of the year and then she's going to I think she's going to create all the blocks into one um, wait where's my butterfly into one pattern packet so the beginners or not the beginners the, the uh, first come first serves are getting a great deal on this to uh, be able to get the direction and the pattern packet I don't know why she did it but man I don't know that she's done it before or anything but I love it and of course when she's doing the painting it's live so you can actually put in the chat if you have a question um, make comments she also gives prizes let me look at the picture for this one so I can see if it comes yeah she kind of goes around the flower a little And really, there is no wrong or right. I am just a copycat, you know. I, and especially when I'm learning a new technique, I want to do what the teacher does so that I understand the process before I um, start to put my own twist on it. That being said, it's not. There is no wrong or right. It's fine. It is literally. I am enjoying this process and. I don't think that's what it's meant for is to anyway I'm getting off my train of thought I can't do this and talk um, at the same time so here's this am I in the shot I hope so I am so focused I think I need to put more paint out um, and then these little pieces up here So I have not put my brush in water and that is what you guys are so used to hearing me say <coughs> constantly <coughs> I use water as the medium for my paint and uh, Erica uses uh, glazing mediums and other type mediums that work well with the Gisonia paint and so I haven't ordered them yet because I don't I have very few of the Gisonia paints. I have a few, but um, I just use water. Oops, that's getting a little. And I mean, it looks kind of messy, but man, it's popping that, um, popping those highlights right up. So I'm gonna go back into the base color with a very liner brush just to bring back some of this um, like I lost a lot of the I really just want it to be on the edges of that and we're also like I said going to use the pencil to get everything nice and separated it'll look good trust me that's why I'm really not getting too caught up in what it looks like at the moment because to me it looks super messy but I'm telling you it's gonna look gorge um, that's why I like to do more than one as well because because I've done a few actually this is my only my second one of this particular um, block but I've done a couple of some of the other ones and I get I understand it better each time it needs to be a little bit wet not completely dry because it won't move if you don't have a little bit of moisture are there any other I think that's it so I'm gonna to move to the green leaves because it's the same color only I'm gonna be using 
the green and the, let's see, let me just read it. Um, for the Naples yellow hue and the leaf green and then just straight Naples yellow hue. So I'm taking the leaf green and I'm going to put it on my brush, dirty brush, you can't see. Sorry, let me show you. So here's just the leaf green and I'm dressing my brush with it and I'm just going to pick up a little bit of the Naples yellow hue and do a brush mix. So it's like half and half. Definitely a lighter tone than the, the leaves I have. Um, again, it's just the tips with a damp dry brush. So I'm going to start at the tip. I don't think it's, eh, it's definitely visible, like it's light enough, but I think I'm going to go back with the uh, just straight Naples yellow hue. It, it'll be so much um, brighter. I kind of, when I load my brush, I flatten it so that there's a, like the brush is kind of like this, and then when I turn it on its side, I get a chisel. So to get that edge going... Um, it's just how I'm turning my brush. I got to do it here. These paints are so much wetter than the Jasonia paint. So it's just a different finesse, you know, like it's different. The different tools you use, it's just different. So yeah, you can hardly see this. So it's kind of, I'm going to have to come back with the uh, just straight yellow Naples hue, which is, for me, it's just old parchment. So you get it. I'm going to come back when it's time to do the um, pencil lines. All right, and I'm going to show you what that does to the piece. I'll be right back.